Hey cruisers, how are you doing today? My name is Chuck Tuck and I am your host. So today is Thursday, October 7th. Let me make sure. Yeah, it is October 7th because yesterday I brought some what I considered really great news, which was, you know, more news about the restart, refurbishments of different cruise ships and new ships being built. But today I have some bad news and there's a lot of cancellations and the cancellations actually run deep into 2022 so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it so those cancellations that i'm talking about i'm going to go over three different cruise lines norwegian carnival and princess the norwegian cruise line is not such bad news really uh, currently i believe they have about eight ships uh, that are out on the restart and this is across the full brand of uh, Norwegian Cruise Line and they say by I believe it was April of 2022 they will have all 28 ships out so it'll be their entire fleet across the uh, the Norwegian brand so that is really good news but let's put some bad news into it with Carnival Cruise Line Carnival had to do some shuffling around and they have some delays. So the Valor is not going to uh, begin its sailing until November 1st out of New Orleans. So that is one delay. The next delay on Carnival is the Legend, which is going to restart on November 14th. And that one will be out of Baltimore. And the Radiance has now been delayed until December 13th. And they will be or she will be cruising out of uh, Long Beach, California. And the Conquest has been delayed until December 13th, and she will be sailing out of Miami, Florida. And then we've got a couple more things here for you. The Carnival Sunshine is now going to resume sailing um, on January 13th, and she is going to be porting out of Charleston. And the Liberty will be calling port uh, out of Port Canaveral, and she will be beginning on February the 11th of 2022. And the Ecstasy... The Paradise and the Sensation have all canceled their sailings until at least February of 2022. So I'm not sure what their exact startup dates will be for those three ships. So stay tuned for that. The Carnival Splendor and Spirit have both been canceled through February 20th of 2022. Those two ships were actually uh, out of Brisbane, so down under. But... As far as what they're going to do next or when they'll actually start up, I don't know. Uh, again, as I said earlier, things seem to be changing more than often. I'll say all the time. So I have to stay on top of things. You have to stay on top of things. You've heard me say it before. If you have a cruise that you already booked, check it all the time. Uh, it's, you know, I had my little guidelines, but gosh, it's almost you need to check it daily just to see uh, where you're at for your cruises. The Carnival Corporation of Cruise Lines includes more than, of course, just the Carnival Cruise Line ships themselves. They also include uh, Holland America Line, uh, Princess, and Seaborn. So a couple of the ships with the Holland America, the Zondam and the uh, Volendam, have both been canceled until... May of 2022. So their winter sailings have all been canceled. So that that's huge bad news. As far as Princess Cruise Lines go, the Island and the Diamond Princess, they will not begin sailing again until spring of 2022. So their itineraries at that time should be the uh, Caribbean and Japan. And the huge unfortunate news, and not that I could ever afford to do anything like this, but boy, sure would be a dream. The 145-day world cruise on the Seaborn, uh, the Sojourn, had been canceled. So now she will not be doing any cruises until uh, beginning June of 2022, and those will be a Mediterranean uh, itinerary. All right, so now let's go over and take a look at Princess. They have been affected um, terribly so that means all of you out there booked on a lot of the princess cruise ships um this is going to impact you so rather than me just kind of trying to say it out loud to you let's go ahead and go over to the web page and take a look so all right so here we are on the uh, information on impacted and canceled cruises and this is as of october the 6th so 
Today's the seventh. You can take a look here. Look, selected Mediterranean cruises on the Regal Princess departing July uh, of 2022. So you've got your details and everything, a PDF that you could click on. Uh, I'll make sure that I put this link in the description because there's it's a lot of information here. Also, the Discovery Princess cruising from Los Angeles. Uh, that's through March 20th of 2022. Uh, look at all these here. Uh, selected cruises from Australian ports on the following ships and dates. The Coral Princess through January 17th. We've got the Royal Princess uh, through March 9th. And then we have the Sapphire Princess uh, through April the 8th. And then April 29th is the Pacific Coastal Cruise on the Sapphire. So all those have been affected. Uh, you could go ahead and continue down here. Sapphire Princess West Coast Cruise departing uh the 24th of September 2022 through November uh, 7th of 2022. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that runs deep into 2022. Now, I have not gone in here and opened up these things and taken a look at the finer details. So that's why I'm going to make sure that I leave you the link directly to this page so you can take a look and see what's going on. As I said, there's a lot of stuff here and it really runs deep into 2022. So that I'm not going even I'm not even going to go uh, through this stuff. So you know where to find it. Just click on the link below. And oh, please remember, if you have any comments, put it in the comments below. And if you're not currently subscribed, please consider subscribing and then hitting the bell so you know whenever I post a new video. So let's go ahead and jump over to one last thing, and this is going to be the CDC color code guide for cruise ships. All right, so here we are at the CDC website for the color code guideline or guide for cruise ships. And I'm not going to go through the full details of what it all means, but green is a go. Green is good. Red is bad. So uh, let's take a look here. So we can see that there's actually quite a few green. Uh, just some yellows. Uh, oh, by the way, this is current as of today, October 7th. And that's Thursday, 2021. Oh, we've got a couple of the oranges and the yellows. Uh, again, we do have quite a few green. So, you know, sometimes that begs to ask the question as far as why are we having to delay things? Why are we having to cancel cruises? Uh, if you take into consideration a lot of the cruises here, especially on the Princess, it was international. So it's not... It's not really just the cruise line. It's it's all about how can you get there. It's all about the different ports of call, the the different countries that uh, the cruise lines may be going into. Uh, they may have certain guidelines or restrictions which um, make it that much more difficult as far as trying to adhere to for passengers and cruise lines. And that 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 could be a reason why. Uh, you're, you're seeing a lot of delays and changes and cancellations, especially uh, the international cruises. But you can still see, like I said, there's quite a few greens going through the whole thing. And down at the bottom area here, this is where it's going to give you an explanation as to what the colors are, from green to yellow to an orangish color to red. So just to let you know, um, green is the best, then it goes down to orange, then yellow, then red is the worst. And so... I'll put a link to this page as well. Uh, gosh, I wish I had some better or great news for you, but as of right now, I don't. And just a reminder again, today is Thursday, October 7th. I am on my break, and I, I, I need to get back uh, to do my regular work. Anyhow, thanks again for continuing to come back to the uh, the page here and to watch the videos and thank you for your comments and again please consider subscribing if you're not subscribing yet that will help me grow it'll help our community this isn't just for me or about me I would like to make this a community for all of us I know that some of you are probably already watching others and you're subscribed to them but the more information that you're able to get from different places and um, just to make the community larger, it, it really helps all of us. So again, thank you very much. My name is Chuck Tuck. I am your host. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.